Hey, this is Matt from Tradesman Digital Marketing. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up remarketing lists and how to actually install the tag associated with remarketing lists on landing pages in Google Ads. Uh, now, there's a few ways to actually properly set up a remarketing lists, but this is going to be specifically for landing pages. This isn't going to be for websites, so they're a bit different. If you're going to do a website, I recommend doing Google Analytics. If you're doing landing pages, I generally recommend doing a uh, tag. It's just easier. You don't have to you know, build out a subdomain to access all of the actual uh, domain. It, it's just a lot easier to just do it this way with uh, the actual tag. Uh, so how do we start? We start with, we go to our Tools and Settings button. We hit Audience Manager under the Shared Library uh, column. Then we hit the plus button and we're going to hit all website visitors. Uh, this is going to be specifically for website visitors that visit our landing pages. Uh, if we had an app, if we had YouTube, uh, YouTube users, if we had, you know, a different combination of lists, we wanted to add out, not specifically a remarketing list. We have the options to do so, but this is going to be for a remarketing list. So we're just going to go click on website visitors. We're going to type in remarketing list here for the title of this, just so it's easy to understand. Uh, for segment members, this is going to be visitors of a page. So you can essentially set this up for a whole bunch of different varieties of stuff. So if someone visits X page and they also visit Y page, we will only want to add them to the list. If they visit X page but don't visit Y page, we don't want to add them to the list. There's just a whole bunch of stuff you could add if you really wanted to make a super complicated uh, remarketing segment or uh, just a customized list. Uh, but for our, the sake of simplicity, we're just going to target visitors of a page uh, because this is just going to remarket to everyone who has visited our landing pages, and that's generally the way we go about it. Uh, it's kind of hard to really differentiate when you only have so many landing pages. Uh, so this is generally what we do. It's uh, just easier and, and much simpler that way. Uh, for the next thing, we're going to type in our actual domain here. So if we have, um, you know, maybe we're a pool installation company and our domain is pools.ca. Uh, and um, what we want to do is we want to make sure the pay we selected page URL, not refer URL. So essentially, you can have a URL that refers you to another URL. So if you've ever seen like those like little links that say like bit.il, uh, that's a referral link. So essentially, you you click on this link and then it sends you to another one. That's not what we're targeting. We're just targeting this basic page URL, and we want to hit contains. You could also hit uh, starts with as well, uh, but contains is just the easiest one. It covers all your bases, and this is so we can target every single landing page. So every single landing page is going to start with pools.ca, but it'll have like the forward slash and then maybe fiberglass pools, vinyl pools. That's all going to be different but we don't want to have to make like remarketing lists for every single one of these landing pages because that's going to be a real pain. So we're just going to have our domain, our basic domain right at the beginning, pools.ca. And as long as it contains pools.ca, we're good to target it and we're good to collect data from those landing pages. So once this is set up, we have three more options. The one is pre-fill options. So if you already have a global site take on your landing page, this will actually just take all the data from that and uh, it's kind of nice because then uh, you can just pre-fill and populate all of your the actual data in there. If you don't have a remarketing uh, tag or a global site tag on the actual uh, landing page itself already, you can start with an empty segment or you can just leave it as pre-fill. It really doesn't make much of a difference. This is only if you really want to differentiate yourself or maybe you've started something new and you only want to see data from the current time. Uh, I could see that being a possible option, just starting with an empty segment. But we're just going to leave it as pre-filled segment. It really doesn't matter for us since the uh, landing pages are new. Uh, membership duration. So this is essentially how long do we want to keep these people on the list uh, for? So if we want to keep these people on the remarketing list for 90 days, we can just enter in 90 days. After 90 days, it essentially expires, and we get rid of the, the cookie that was tracking them and uh, Google will no longer target them. So that's just essentially how many days do you want to target them? You can set it to 540, which is the max. Uh, I like to set it to generally 90 days. Uh, it depends on how much data you get to the account too. If you have a lot of data coming in, you can set it for less. If you don't have that much data, it's probably best to set it to longer. That way you can collect more uh, visitors and Google has more data to work with because if you leave it uh, if you don't give Google enough data, it's not going to be able to work with the list and remarket properly to it. Uh, so the next thing is the description. We can just type in a basic description here, remarketing list for pool company or whatever, you know, XYZ company or whatever it is, just to give it a nice little description. And now we're going to hit create segment. And now we see that our remarketing list has been created, and this is a new segment, and it's based on the actual website visitors. Membership status is open. 
the size is populating, all this populating. So essentially Google's just collecting data right now to see uh, uh, what is actually going on inside this list. And if, if we already had data going to the actual landing page, uh, Google would essentially collect that and then add it and so we could uh, start remarketing to the remarketing list a lot quicker. Now, if you already have a global site tag on your landing page, you're done. You don't got to do anything else. You've created the remarketing list and all you have to do it is go in and target it and build out your campaign around it. Now, if you don't have a global site take on your uh, actual landing page, you're gonna have to go into your data sources. This is gonna pop up with a Google Ads tag. What we're gonna have to do is hit details. And it's not a super complex thing. All you have to do is scroll down to the bottom here, hit tag setup, uh, hit install the tag yourself. Or if you have someone managing the account, you can just email the tag or use Google Tag Manager. I find installing the tag yourself a lot easier. It's a lot quicker. Yeah, if you have a whole bunch of landing page, it can be a pain in the butt, but for me, it's uh, it's the easiest way to go about it. All we're going to have to do is copy all this, hit copy, and then we're going to come to our actual landing page. Now, this is just a demo landing page. It's uh, anything we're actually using. But all we have to do is hit JavaScript. By the way, this is an Unbounce, uh, which is a landing page builder. If you have you know WordPress or Instapages or another world, uh, landing page builder, you might have to uh, change things around, but essentially it's all the same. What we're going to do is place the code in the head of the actual landing page. We're just going to hit Control V or whatever your paste function is. And now we have pasted the global site tag. We can name it as remarketing list. I like to just name it as the global site tag. Uh, what it, Google used to have was uh, a dedicated remarketing tag and a site tag or a conversion tag, whatever you prefer. Um, and it was kind of complicated because you had to have a whole bunch of tags. Now Google has just combined them all into one. So if you have a global site tag on your actual landing page, you don't need a remarketing tag. You just need the global site tag, which is a lot easier. And it also tracks conversions too. I have a conversion tracking video. Uh, you do you do need another little bit of code uh, to add on later, but this is just for remarketing. So all we're going to do is hit done. Um, and now we hit save and we hit republish. and our changes are live. So our remarketing tag is now live and we have successfully installed our remarketing tag for Google ads. And as we can come back here, we can check our segments. Our remarketing tag should populate in a few minutes and all is good in the world. So now you have successfully installed your remarketing tag. If you already have your global site tag on your actual landing page or even website, you don't have to do all the, the second part of this, but, um, but that's how to go about creating a remarketing list for Google ads. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them down in the comment section down below. I'd be happy to answer them. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day and take care.